Welcome to today's show. Um, if you are a developer like myself for the Microsoft Windows Phone, you know if you use your phone as a debugging tool, um, especially if you're trying to launch you know, the camera, um, if you're making an app for that, or trying to access photos on it, etc., etc., uh, reasons for why you would uh, want to debug on your phone. Plus, you get to see it in a real-world environment. But today I'm going to show you how you don't have to open up Zune which is bulky and in your way, uh, and sometimes you accidentally close it, etc., etc. Um, a million different reasons why right now um, I wouldn't want it open. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and do this. So anywhere blank in your desktop like so, we'll go ahead and right-click. We'll go to New. Now, um, Daniel from the sociablegeek.com, he suggested a different route to do this uh, using basically a DOS prompt and manually typing. However, uh, I'm going to use a bat file, just something easily to open it up. So instead of doing a shortcut and putting in uh, a specific uh, either 64-bit or 32-bit path, we're just going to straight do a bat file. So we'll go ahead and click uh, a new text document. Okay, so right now it says new text document we're gonna go ahead and click edit okay now we're just gonna do a real quick echo um, opening file WP connect dot exe just to let the user know and then we're gonna go ahead and type in this specific path this is 64 bit uh, path uh, which is very important um, 32 bit uh, path should look something similar to, uh, uh, let's see here, uh, well, I'm going to say it's going to probably look something very similar to, instead of x64, I'm going to say it's going to be x86, okay? Um, but in this example, we're going to do 64-bit, uh, not 32, but I'm pretty sure um, this should work either way, considering... Uh, uh, actually, you know what, since it would be 32-bit, uh, um, it would just be program files. There wouldn't be the x686, uh, uh, which means, hey, we're doing 32-bit, uh, where uh, regular program files on uh, a 64-bit would just be program files like so down here. So we'll go ahead and remove that. Now we have this, so x64. Now we're going to add that little slash there, okay, and type wp connect.exe, okay. Now we're just going to add one more echo uh, and just basically say uh, uh, process should be completed, okay. Now, we'll go ahead and click save real quick. Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and right-click the file here. Click rename. Also, get rid of that .txt. So, we're going to call this uh, wconnect, oops, wconnect.bat for bat. And then, we're going to get something like this. Woo! Uh, are you sure you want to change it? Yes, I am. Okay. Now, it should look like this, essentially. Very small. Now, to double-check what's inside looks right right okay so now we go ahead and right click this and we could go ahead and click open or if you need to depending on the user account on your computer run as administrator but we're gonna just go ahead and click open and as you see it's trying to load it here and it was completed how do we know because it's gone so that's all you have to do so that concludes this tutorial. Uh, big thanks to thesociablegeek.com, which is Daniel. He's been great. He uh, actually sent us a Windows phone to work with. Uh, very nice man. Uh, I love what he's doing for the development community. Uh, it's really great. You should definitely check out his site. He is from Microsoft, of course. All it appears all the geniuses are. Um, anyways, but that concludes uh, today. So uh, we're done, and... Uh, Continue to watch the Tech Me Show, and uh, we hope we see you soon. Bye-bye.